April is when the planet comes together to celebrate Earth Day. But here at 6 News, we have got something special planned that will last more than 24 hours. Yes, we are calling it April Earth Month, and we're celebrating with in-depth stories by our weather team every Monday and by our news team every Thursday about different aspects of weather and climate. And we're kicking things off tonight with an interview. Our Jorma Duran sat down with a professor at Michigan State who is the perfect person to get Earth Month underway. MSU professor and state climatologist Dr. Jeff Andreessen joins me in the 6 News studio to talk about climate change. Thank you so much for being with us today. Let's get right to the basics. Uh, is climate change real? And if it is, why would you believe that? Well, that's one thing we know for sure. Climate change is real. And, and uh, regardless of uh, their natural factors, but they're also, of course, our human factors related to this. But the word we should associate with climate is, is dynamic. It, it has changed in the past. It's changing now as we speak, and it will undoubtedly change in the future as well. Sharp increase in climate change within the past how long? We have. Uh, there have been some very notable trends really over the last few decades, uh, but uh, the long-term trend is unmistakable towards, uh, towards, again, the warmer and wetter direction. What do you tell people who don't believe in climate change? You know, maybe 30 or 40 years ago, we could have probably debated, is the change real? Well, there's a lot of noise from year to year, a lot of change, but uh, it, not anymore. All of the, the best uh, science and uh, analysis of the observational record that we do have, and actually satellite data as well, they all point in the same direction. What does a warming planet do for us here in Michigan? How's it right. going to impact us? Precipitation, the uh, amount of water with this, that there are some different scenarios. Most of the projections for the, the near term future suggest a continuation of where we are now and where we've been over the last couple of decades. So that's warmer and wetter. But many of, not all, but many of the projections for the distant future, for the latter half of the century, for example, they suggest uh, perhaps that we would see uh, maybe the same, maybe even a little bit more annual precipitation, but uh, we, we have to look at the timing and the seasonality of it. And some of what is concerning is that uh, the, project, the precip expected to fall in the warm season when we really need the water more, There's, and water needs are greater, uh, that might be less hmm. or more erratic. With Michigan having moderate temperatures overall, and we're surrounded hmm. by freshwater lakes, we're okay. We're going to be okay. Are we okay? Yeah. <laughs> Does that and make a difference? No. <laughs> I, I think this needs to, and we, we should, this is something we should be thankful and grateful for. I mean, it's a step back and, and think about a complex issue, but Michigan, uh, we, have, we have severe weather, we have tornadoes, we have blizzards, uh, we have flooding events, but relative to other parts of the U.S. Lots of knowledge right there. That was awesome. We appreciate okay. you talking with us today. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. And thank you, Jorma. Well, this